Okay, the next stage is to show you how to laminate and how to um, encapsulate your work just to make it a bit better and to, to protect the actual paper. Okay, so what am we using? Well, there's two sorts you can use. There's um, some LDP, which is this sort of stuff, and this is the Staples brand. And the reason I use this occasionally is that it is glossy, but it also comes down to 75 microns. Um, this is quite expensive from there, but just to prove that you can do it just as cheap, I'm going to use the laminator pages from Tesco again. No different brand, it's still the same, um, 75 micron, and all that means is the thickness will go through my laminator. Now the laminator is an A3 laminator, but you can use this on A4. Most people have A4 printers at home, and some people may, may even have A4 laminators at home. So we're going to use these sort of pages. Now these pages uh, actually polypropylene or type off and if I can just find the box there we go what we're going to do now is literally encapsulate these using heat so these come as pages as you, you know um, one end is sealed, the end is sealed goes through the laminator, some laminators require a card uh, carriage, this one doesn't because of the heat, and all I'm going to do literally is place my design in between the two sheets of laminates. I'm not really too fussed really about the edges. Um, being right. What I will do though is place that through and we should be able to see the difference. Now I'm going to wait till this is ready to go. It's still warming up a little bit. So what I will do is put the line ready to go as well. And then while this is working I can talk to you a bit about encapsulation. Right now, although we, we say laminated, and um, so we re often refer to lamination as being this, it's actually encapsulation. The difference between the two is if you laminate something, it's only on one side, and if you encapsulate it, like a capsule, you cover the two sides, and that's the definition of it in graphics at least. Um, so, that one's ready now, so I'm just going to place this one through, like so, and it will take some time to come through, and again, I'm not going to force it. Right, so the difference between encapsulation and if I was doing something where I just wanted it laminated. Okay, well if I was just to um, laminate, so it's just on one side, what I would do is I'd stick a spare piece of paper at the back when I actually put it through the laminator so it won't glue, the back won't glue onto this paper. So you can see the back is still paper but the front is actually laminated. It's plastic. Let's put that cover on. This is just one of the little things I was going to do with the bags. You can see where we've got the, the score lines on and all I've done is scores through the plastic and just folded them over. So if I was to laminate it that would just be the one. To encapsulate it, it's on the both sides and that's the difference between the two. So I am going to encapsulate the two sides that I'm going to use for my bag. So this one's come through now. I'm just going to check the edges. just going to check the surface just to make sure everything's okay. You can see the back. I might push that one through actually in the back. see how that one goes. I'm um, not quite happy with the surface. You are going to get some sort of bevels in it because the, the surface, despite it being paper, isn't smooth. And um, paper, as you can imagine, is made as a pulp. It's then all pushed together and it's just sent through rollers. So you're never going to get it absolutely smooth. Next stage once I've done that is to use the crop lines and to actually cut out and um, by hand I'm going to do this version all the marks ready to score and that will be the difference from there. So the next time you see the video all this would have gone through the laminator and I'll cut the shapes out 
and to be fair I'm just going to cut the shout out the outlines with scissors and then I'm going to use a scalpel just to score the edges and I'll show you that stage very shortly ok so these have now been laminated and I've cut them out and these are ready to be scored but I'm just going to pause there for a second because I want to score them all at the same time and um, I've got some strips and they're going to be used or could be used for the handles and literally it's just a case of bending them at an angle like that and you can see it a bit different now because it's black and white 90 degree angle and then actually stuck onto the case we're not going to be using that me method but I am going to be going through that method um, just in, in case people want to use it ok so what are we going to do with the other ones then Right, well the reason things has crop marks in and the reason when I printed them they have crop marks, these haven't been uh, laminated yet but what I decided I'm going to do is the sides I'm going to replace with these sort of like shiny black pieces before laminating, so it means I need to get this um, correct I want to if I can as well include this stripe on the inside at this point this um, having paid for um, this sort of paper to have it glued on the back of the sheet. Right, so what are we going to do first of all? Well these cutting marks here, the uh, crop marks as you can see with the lines see we've got the crop lines there literally uh, just to show in industry where the cutter would cut them out. So that's exactly what I'm going to do but I'm going to be using um, my guillotine to do that. So all I'll do is place that one through the edge where I think it needs to be. Um, line up my crop lines. And I want to line the crop lines up. Which we could do using the guillotine. Probably do with a bit more taking off that. So I'm lining this up again where I think the cut needs to be and again this time what I'm going to do is start to cut the piece out okay. so carefully make sure it's in line and that it cuts all the areas ready to go ok right next stage then is to cut all this bit out and to reassemble this and then all I'm going to do is laminate it once we'll these are on the sheets like so flat against the edge so we've got this sort of pattern on the side just to make the bag look a bit better and the next video will just show you the next stage once that's done